let us look one, at uh, one question on integration uh, indefinite integration the question is find the integration of or find the integral of uh, cos squared x uh, times sine cube x dx so whenever you have this sort of integral uh, the best would be to do a form of substitution okay so when I look at this I got uh, cos cube x here okay, sorry sine cube x and cos squared x so if I substitute cos x as u uh, from cos x I can substitute for sine squared x and I also know cos x differentiates to sine x so I'm going to do a substitution of uh, u is equal to cos x so it's always at times you may have to do something and then say uh, the substitution doesn't work at times you suppose if you uh, I did work it out when you do the u substitution if you take sine x it doesn't work you can try uh, so when you substitute this is at times trial and error okay so you have to at times uh, find the best substitution so so let us so if u is equal to cos x this implies u squared is equal to cos squared x okay so whenever you're doing whenever you're doing a substitution you need to change everything in terms of u in even this dx in terms of u so what do you know about uh, cos squared I hope you know cos squared x plus sine squared x is 1 this is one of the most common or famous identity this is a trig identity okay so if you put that so cos squared is 1 minus sine squared so this implies u squared is 1 minus sine squared x okay but I want to write in terms of sine squared x so this implies I hope this should not be difficult sine squared x is 1 minus u squared okay so I have expressed u as cos x then I have expressed sine squared x as in terms of u and I've got one more cos x sine x sitting here because it's sine cube x so and let me differentiate this so let me go from here if I differentiate both sides d by dx of u is equal to d by dx of cos x okay, so d by dx of u is nothing but du by dx and differentiation of cos x you can refer in your formula sheets is minus sine x so if you cross multiply or if you multiply both sides by dx du is equal to minus sine x dx but I can see a sine x dx here so if you multiply both side by negative 1 minus du is sine x dx just like that so these are the three things that we need to substitute back okay so let me rewrite the question I think I'll start from here let me use this color therefore therefore integration of cos squared x times I'm writing sine cube x as sine squared x times sine x dx okay so this is same as what is cos squared x cos, cos squared x is u squared okay times what is sine squared x sine squared x is 1 minus u squared times what is sine x dx sine x dx is minus du just like that so the whole thing has changed into uh, into u okay so I'll, I can factor out this minus out so this is minus integration of u squared times 1 minus u squared du scroll down so this is integration of expanding this this is u squared minus u to the power 4 du you can distribute this du so this is minus 
uh, integration of u squared du minus integration of u to the power of 4 du. This minus is setting out. So minus integration of u squared is u cube over 3 minus u to the power of phi over phi plus the arbitrary constant. So let me change color. So let me put green. So if you open the bracket, this is minus u cube over 3 plus u to the power of phi over phi plus c. But we have to get back to the original form. Our original form was in x. So this is u is equal to cos squared x. We have to put that back. So let me use a different color, green color. Oh, there's no green color. Let me use blue. So this is nothing but minus cos cube x over 3 plus cos to the power of 5x over 5 plus c. Just like that. Okay. And uh, this is your final answer. I'll do a few more, exa few more examples of trig substitution or substitution method in the next few videos. See you in the next video.